Hola, 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 hola. I wanted to watch this because I, I watched Sonny a little bit. He's Australian. So he talks up this brew. He did this video that came out like four hours ago. Matt Pat was the original. Oh my God. Oi, oi, oi. Funny thing you mentioned this, right? And I could I could speak about this because I'm not signed up with them. So, you know, you know, you've got U2s, right? Mr. Bean U2s. God, they just got, they got everyone. They got everyone. I'm not with these guys anymore, but they keep, they keep asking me to sign up with them. I might do. I might do. I like money. Did you know that Matt Pat started his own U2s? U2s. And it's not U2s. It's like an off brand of U2s. <laughs> Oh, it's so good, man. Like these ones and stuff, I get it. Cause you know, it's like your character's persona and that, like it actually looks aesthetically pleasing, but this is just a soulless visage of Matt Pat's face. I like as well how it's the only one that isn't sold out as well. Like holy based. Let me, uh, let me watch this. Been so hated. That's a question you might ask yourself after stumbling upon hate video after hate video after hate video, each of which explaining in their own words why they dislike this 17 year old anonymous Minecraft YouTube. What well, one thing that I noticed as well, I noticed that Jellybean was getting hate because uh, YouTube shorts love to promote her. I, I swear, I was scrolling on my phone, you would always have a video of her shorts, and then straight after, you would have a like a video like mocking her. Like, like you know, the one with the uh, skeletons and stuff, and they're all like, you know, the meme where they're all like looking and it's playing like some music or some shit. That was literally every single video straight afterwards. So it's almost like YouTube would promote her and then instantly roast her the video afterwards. What makes the question even more interesting is that only six months ago, Jellybean was a complete nobody, gaining less than a thousand views per day, which is a number almost incomparable beside- Your breathing aggravates me. Yeah, sorry bro, I'll stop breathing, my bad. The 40 to 120 million views she now receives monthly. Has the hate come about as a simple result of becoming so successful in such a short period of time? You know what's crazy as well? Sorry, I, I just go off on these tangents. Like her success is amazing, right? YouTube Shorts is like, it, it's the same as TikTok. The views you get and the impressions are incredible, but the actual translation into monetary gain is abysmal. It is terrible. Like I've talked to Schlatt about this and I saw Critical's video talking about YouTube shorts. They make no money off it. The thing is with shorts, it's really good to get your clout up. It's really good to spread your like name around and stuff to, you know, because what, what I've done is now I've got a shorts channel. Yeah, yeah. So I've set up a shorts account now. I'm paying a guy to like manage it. Like I can't even monetize this yet. It needs 4,000 watch hours to even apply for monetization. And for shorts, turning that into watch hours, 4,000 is like, that's insane. But basically all, all we're trying to do with this is spam upload on it until there's inevitably a viral clip. That, that That's the way that shorts works. Shorts are horrendous for money. You do get like a shorts fund. Uh, it's like a pool of money that basically YouTube is saying, thank you for uploading shorts on our site and like hopefully doing damage to TikTok. The channel's been up five days, guys. Come on, you be a little bit. You can be, you come on, guys, guys. It's been up five days. It has been up five days, guys. Come on. Has the hate come about as a simple result of becoming so successful in such a short period of time? Or is it more likely associated with the Thank numerous you, controversies the that she's been involved in during her short time in the sun? We're gonna the, the, the only thing I know that she did that was like bad is she made like a poor taste joke about the sleepy moon guy. Wasn't it like calling him a nonce or something? Like that, that was it. That, that's the only drama that I can think of. And I, I saw it and I was like, okay, that's like cringe, but like, you know, it's not worth like losing your career over. Associated with the numerous controversies. I'm sure, I'm sure this video will cover it though. Short time in the sun. Why does it say doxing? I don't think you should take someone's private information, like parent IP. They make cringe video. I mean, yeah, I hate, okay. Yeah, Jellybean got doxed. Yeah, it's always so weird how people Associated do that. with the numerous controversies that she's been involved in during her short time in the sun. She was We're going to examine yeah. the fast yeah, I thought so. It's, it's, it's like an inevitability, right? Like you don't clean up your back end with like security and that, especially with how young she is as well. Jellybean, up until two weeks ago when she'd post a hate video on herself. So you can come to your own conclusion. The, the, the one thing I do know about her though, sorry I'm pausing so much. Apparently she's took the route of being a lot more self-aware and ironic now, like mocking. Like the best thing you can do is mock what people mock you for. Because once you do that, it, it's like like plot armor, you, you are, it's, it's like a free flak vest, you're just bulletproof. ...about whether or not the title of YouTube's most hated creator is justified or deserved. The first reason as to why she might warrant this title can be identified when looking at the third video ever posted to her channel back in October 2021 titled Minecraft but I'm reading comments. I want to see how many uh, views she actually gets now. She's probably still, oh for fuck's sake, did I just close that? 300, 1.4, 2.4, yeah that's really good. That's like what I'd get for a main channel video and she's got like half my subs 
subs. That's really good for her. The problem is, though, again, it translates into, like, no money at all. But, like, for, for the sake of virality and getting a name out there, virality is not a word. Is virality a word? Yo, is it actually a word? Monka. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm a... Jesus, I'm a genius. I'm an actual, like, British thespian. See if you can figure out what the reason might be without any context. <laughs> Balls. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Just like you better sit down and go watch Coco Melon right now. <laughs> it's it's so good making like a go watch Coco Melon, and it's like the people that would watch this are about half a month older than the people that watch Coco Melon. <laughs> Viewers quickly came to the conclusion that Jelly Bean's videos were obnoxious, annoying, over the top, immature. And if, if I was like seven though, which is what the main YouTube demographic is like, you know, wine mums sticking their kid on an iPad, I would think that's hilarious. I would think that's hilarious. But obviously, it's like a 24 year old. I'm like, yeah, okay, it's a bit cringe. But also, like, YouTubers in their 20s are incredibly jaded and bitter. And the content itself is pretty much this chick sounding like she's off who knows how much drugs with literally blaringly loud video game OST music in the background. Another influencer that has. Okay, what, what, one thing I will give her credit there is nothing wrong with her using uh undertale ost because when i was doing like the leafy commentary era where i was like doing like csgo surf and prototype and that that was like my lifeline that was my iv drip when i was in a coma people in chat are saying this guy's anomaly i, I thought that for a second as well this thought of love i i met i met anomaly in person like one time in australia like two years ago he was like the friendliest guy he was, I genuinely never got such a better vibe off him. And then when I left, he was like the only guy that DM'd me afterwards. And he was like, hey man, it was nice meeting you. You know, just like, it, it really shows that he's, he's he's a very nice character. He's very down to earth. Pile, your, your face infuriates me. In the Please remove your skin. Dedicated. Oh, you want me to? Okay, bro. Nah, that's fine. I got you. Yeah, no worries. Hating Jelly Bean, fittingly titled r slash Jelly Bean sucks. Why would you, why would you make a subreddit about a that? Come I mean, no, to, to be fair, to be fair. Does anyone remember that subreddit? All right, no, I'll come back. Does, does anyone remember that subreddit where you could literally just watch people die? There was a subreddit called Watch People Die. Reddit removed it. And then they came back as a cope subreddit and it was called Make My Coffin. And it was basically like, what, what they did was they would show like videos of like workers in China and stuff like just being killed by these huge machines and that, right? Or melted, just horrible stuff. And then they would cope and say, they basically got a pinned comment from a guy that was probably a butt. And it was saying something like, thank you for the Make My Coffin subreddit. Thanks to this subreddit, I have realized that dying would be painful. Like it was basically their defense. So if Reddit if the reddit mods found that subreddit they wouldn't ban it because it's like saving lives it was the biggest i have never seen more copium in my entire life i mean th this is just the pyrocynical subreddit this is literally the pyrocynical subreddit like if i if i go on the subreddit right now there will be a post about you bullying me yep yep Lit first post by the way first post by the way you just edit me as some like wine mom. Like, like that's not even bad. That's like what I get on a daily basis. I, I like how I didn't even have to scroll down, eh? It was just like the first result, like just spoon fed to me. In late November, 2021, Jellybean would upload a video titled Minecraft, but we cause some chaos in which she requested that all of her audience Photoshop her Minecraft face over the top of their current YouTube profile pictures. I think it would be really funny if we just slapped my Minecraft face on everyone's profile pictures and confuse so many people. I, I, I get that what she's doing is cringe. I'm getting secondhand embarrassment here not because of what she's doing but because when i was younger on youtube i did the exact same stuff like do, do, do you remember that small loan of a million dollars meme that I was like trying to force so badly like i, I look back on it a couple days ago and i was like i was actually so goddamn cringe it was horrible you remember that you remember that meme i tried to force that was so unfunny after leafy started what was it nice shirt or something L leafy had his hiss army that kind of just spiraled on its own so then i saw that as a you know as a leech and i was just like okay i'm gonna start my own meme and i tried that small loan of a million dollars it was it was so unfunny it was the worst thing ever so i think we should move on from youtube and go to other platforms i want you guys to change your Don't. profile pictures everywhere the, the mistake she made was showing twitter that was the mistake that was when the YouTube. downfall started well, this move seemed to annoy some people with Twitter posts such as, why do you think people are in the Jelly Bean profile picture gang? Because they have no life, no friends, no bitches, no outdoors. People changing their profile picture wasn't really all that invasive and was hardly worth getting worked up about. However, see, st stuff like that, the no bitches, that's that's funny, I think. I don't see anything wrong with that. Obviously, when you go like doxing and stuff, that's just so fucking childish. This next stunt began on the 7th of January, 2022, 
after Jellybean would upload a video titled Minecraft But We Set a World Record, in which she expressed her desire to break the record for the highest number of comments on a YouTube short. What if we hit a world record for the I most I mean, that's not comments. even hard. How? That's not even hard. Do you know the amount of people that just like watch a short or watch a TikTok and then scroll past? Like I go on TikTok and the top comment is just always someone being incredibly passive aggressive and bitter. That is not hard. You, you, I, I bet she did it. I can easily see on that she YouTube did it. Short. I know it sounds crazy, but I think it's possible. If everybody watching this video type, it's not a mistake. It's a masterpiece. Ten times. I think is we that can where that it came so from? Is that section. where that shitty copy pasta came from? It came from her. Are you serious? I still see that shit on my video like today. Oh if my god. Oh this video my type, it's god. Not a Subsequently, her comment section began to fill with the instructed comment. It's not a mistake. It's a masterpiece. With my Jelly Bean taken to a my blood is boiling. Tab, looking at that comment. that the message shouldn't be spammed anywhere besides her specific YouTube short video. Hey, I just want to state: Do not go to other streamers slash YouTubers and flood them with it's Thank not you, a PG masterpiece. Tips for the it's sub. a mistake. I'm okay with you guys spamming my youtube comments but nowhere else thank you slash serious i mean that's kind of based obviously the but that's not gonna work gonna the exact that isn't gonna work of whatever yep. jelly bean instructed and as a result her audience began to spam it everywhere forcing the jelly bean agenda yeah. upon each harmonious youtube comment sec this is a resurgence of something that would regularly happen like i remember i remember it was so easy in a youtube video do you guys remember that copy pasta of saying it was something like i can't believe schlatt would do this and there was no context do you guys remember that it was very short-lived but that was on like all of my videos but it's so crazy like if you start a copy pasta on a main channel video you can go onto your analytics and you can see the people that sub to you who else they watch like if i did that people would comment that on critical's video or comment it on schlatt's video it's not a mistake it's a parasitical main channel video all right ban that guy action a few months ago i got comments on my video saying it's not a mistake it's a masterpiece <laughs> and i was very confused the jelly bean fans who refused to join the it's not a mistake it's a masterpiece cult it's within not a mistake it's a lack of <laughs> What's his, oh my God, what's his name? What's his name? Iron Man actor, Iron Man actor. What's his name? He points and he does this. He goes, uh, I'm trying to, yeah, what, what's his name? Oh, what, how? Robert Downey Jr. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot that. Literally, I actually had a dementia moment. Like Joe Biden is still in my brain from last stream. Those who didn't know what was going on would take to the out of the loop subreddit in a post attempting to yeah, figure Yeah, I, I kind of respect that she tried to quell it herself and be like, okay, keep it to my video. But again, it's like you're, you, you're asking for the impossible. You know that like your 11 year old fans are gonna like just spam it everywhere. Like the YouTube comments, I have never actually seen a worse cesspool of idiocracy. The best comments I'm seeing right now is when I upload on my Para Live channel because they get less views because that is just like core fan base and they're actually like civilized people. But like when, when a video goes viral and stuff, it's just like, it, there's just so many just people that just have half their brain missing in there. It's insane. One user would comment, answer, people just find her annoying. Receiving a response reading, people annoyed by someone that they can easily avoid blows my mind. This is a very good point. Sure, the comments were annoying. I do like Sonny, but he did just read a Reddit comment and say he makes a very good point. I do want to say he did just say that. For the record, he did just say that. But why were people going out of their way to hate on Jelly Bean when, as highlighted in another Reddit comment, she's doing the same annoying shit that YouTubers like Rambu and George Not Found would do, but she's no! the one who gets a massive hate campaign. No, now, you can't attack Rambu and George Not Found. Rambu and George Not Found are fairly different from Jelly Bean. They all play Minecraft, sure, but Jelly Bean has a fairly unique style, besides using a similar disguise in a subscriber milestone special, which had clearly been copied from Rambo. I mean, that that's not copied from Rambu. You could say that's anyone. Like, you could say that's quite. Like, I saw that and I just saw that as quite, just like minus the hoodie. It's just anyone with a mask and glasses. Rambu baked a cake for one. Minute. Yeah, Memulus as well, exactly. I mean, he's got a bandana, not a face mask, but still, it's just like. Bill, she's making cookies for 400K. He wears sunglasses and a mask. She's wearing sunglasses and a mask. However, regardless no! of whether or not sunglasses similar, and mask, these no! comments still highlighted. I, I, bro, I feel sorry for anyone that has like a TV head character now because they, they, they just get called like pyroclines, even though like I literally like. I had that was like yoinked from Tumblr. She started her channel basically copying Dream. Like she even used his speedrun music, and it wasn't even used in an ironic sense. Nah, she was just trying to replicate that sweet Minecraft success. Oh my god, I'm like, I'm like Dream. Even going so far as to make oh her Twitter dream. handle. Is she Twitch partner as well? Instead of actually having an own persona, she completely mimics Dream. She's the definition of. Oh my god, the of, bass on so your mic, bro. Turn that SMP. down. I, I imagine Jelly Bean. You know, you know that Renaissance painting where it's like two people and their hands are reaching out to each other like they're, they're both lying down and one of them is reaching forward that would literally be dream reaching out to jelly bean because if if she had like any contact with dream smp she would have blown up even more like overnight i love watching minecraft videos but i absolutely cannot stand dream and his friends there's a couple of them no. who i find funny but the whole thing is just Don't unbelievable say you're gonna work. get ducks. certain things
things that should Don't be well played it. on. I like how the account has been deleted as well. Maybe Jellybean isn't as hated as it seems, and hating her has simply become a trend in the commentary community. Let me explain. On the 7th of February 2022, Soloko will be the first YouTuber to post a video discussing why they dislike Jellybean. It's crazy how the commentary videos attacking her just like absolutely juiced. I think that created a really negative sphere of people seeing a video juice, and then they like copied it and copied it, and it just like, you know, it blew up. If videos renting her didn't get views, I don't think people would have jumped on it near as much. I think there are a couple videos on her negatively that have reached like nearly a million views. A week later, The Beak would post his video titled Why I Don't Like Jelly Bean, which once again gained over 1 million views, despite him also having less than 50,000 subscribers. The commentary community might have hated Jelly Bean, or they might have simply been putting it on for views. Regardless, it will be during this wave of commentary community hate that Jelly Bean will make yet another mistake, leading to her becoming even more hated. She began to what respond she to do? criticism. Jelly Bean and I mean, that's responding not, to that's not bad though. Responding to it isn't bad as long as you do it the correct way. When you respond to stuff, you need to do it in like kind of a okay. So you know, like Will Smith when he like smacked. Uh, Chris Rock. Like, I I imagine the amount of times where he's had, like, a bad joke thrown at him, and he just kind of, like, takes it on the chin and laughs at it and stuff, you know, like, even though Bruce, uh, Will, Will Smith is, like, a complete fucking moron. You need to be, like, self-aware about this stuff. If you come across as, like, bitter and then it's getting to you, that is, like, you you've literally just, you you've completely fucked yourself. It's, it's the worst thing you can do. Now, she didn't respond to any of these videos directly, which was a smart move, but she'd rather post a tweet reading, can't have the haters holding me back. It's pop-off season. No! Which is that's the worst thing you could, you are just baiting. Oh, Oh, like I get, she's oh, literally a kid, but it's just like, man. I've read that as Tubbo alt as well. <laughs> <laughs> I read that as Tobo. Tobo, what are you doing? They're actually doxing Jellybean and leaking her private information just because she makes cringe Minecraft videos. Now, I'm going to be talking about it in this video and why she deserved it. So make sure to like the video and comment. Why does he sound like the guy that said that video that KSI is cancer? Do you remember that? Is this the same kid? Is this the same kid? You guys are not going to believe this. KSI has cancer. Do you want to win all the gift cards down below? Just leave a like, subscribe, turn your notifications on. Make sure you leave a- Actually, get yourself locked up and get mental help. Like, uh, unironically, like, ah, uh, the fact that channels like that existed, Extract Hub, that's it, Extract Hub. Seeking another response from Jellybean, someone from TikTok would create a fake screenshot of her saying the N-word oh, it's Discord, not even- look, her... look at the color overlap and stuff, like, monka. Yeah, you're just gonna- This is why no one believes Discord screenshots. I'm here to address these screenshots that have been going around Twitter, TikTok, and probably other social medias. Recently, there have been fake screenshots of me saying slurs, and it's honestly disgusting. These screenshots are obviously fake, from the profile picture to the wrong like pronunciation the of my name in the screenshot. These people who are spreading these screenshots only have the screenshot. They have no weight behind these accusations, and they have been very harmful to me and my mental health. I'm called racist over something I didn't do. Guys, you probably all know someone in your friend group or like a mutual that has said on Twitter, I'm taking a break off Twitter, and then less than 24 hours, they'll be back. I have seen so many YouTubers that say, I'm I'm taking like a Twitter detox and then eight hours like eight hours later they're back. They'll do this thing, right? Where they go, just checking in. It's like, no, you're not. You've been sat on Twitter all day, but you know you can't tweet anything because you said you're taking a break. So you're trying to like lurk. It, oh, it's the worst shit in the world. I hate when people do that stuff. I hate that. And while these kind of events have been quote very harmful to her mental health, they haven't actually been all that harmful to the hey, of her YouTube hey. channel. On the first of May 2022. You should be like, mental health destroyed, but the numbers are up. Hey, hey. Ooh, Jellybean will make a tweet reading. I'm curious, how did you find out about me? What were your first impressions of me? For the which many of the comments referenced that they had discovered and become a fan of Jellybean after watching the commentary videos hating her. So while Jellybean may hold the title of YouTube's most hated creator, the negative connotation might have come with an equal amount of positivity. They say that any news is good news, which is true to an extent. Like you can capitalize on like new audiences and stuff, but it can be like so like mentally taxing as well.